Hey everybody, this is Tom with Rocket Restorations and today we're going back to the 1968 Hemi Roadrunner. And what we're doing today is we're going to show you where the body numbers are on a 68 B-body. Doesn't matter if it's a Hemi car, doesn't matter if it's a Slen 6 Belvedere, all the body numbers are in the same spot. And 68's a real tricky year. They, uh, well I guess it's not a tricky year, it's they, they kind of simplified stuff in 69 by using the VIN. On this they use a little bit of a different system. So in 69, they use the last of the VIN, and we're actually going to do a video on that on our Dodge Daytona we have in the shop. But in 68, the numbers are only off the fender tag or on the broadcast sheet or some other paperwork. They use the via quarter number, as I'll show you here in a second. And as long as we're doing, going to do an example here, I thought I'd use a Hemi car because it's a Hemi car. It's always funner to get stuff off Hemi cars. So this car does have its original fender tag and what we're going to show you here is a we just have a picture of it because it's in a safe location right now so we're going to show you a picture of the fender tag with a and we're going to decode it for you and here's our decode of the fender tag for the 1968 hemi rotor starting from the bottom left rm21 is the first four letters of the vin 73 is the engine which is 426 hemi in this case five is transmission which is the 727 automatic the next code is 45, which is the F7015 red line tire. And there were speedways that were special uh, and were just put on the Hemi cars. 329 is the SPD, the scheduled production date, which is March 29th. The next six is 079691, which is the vehicle order number. It's a very important number on a 68 car, as we'll go through when we show you the body numbers later. The next line uh, under the 2 is 5, which means drip rail moldings. The next codes under AX are 4 and 8. 4 means 323, and the 8 means sugar grip, and that's an 8 and 3 quarter rear end. Hemis did not get Dana 60 standard. The next codes under TRM are D4S. D is deluxe vinyl interior. 4 is split bench seat. S is silver interior, silver and black interior. Next codes are under PNT or PP1, which is the color. P is bright red. And then the one means it's single tone, which means the bottom and top are both red. Under UBS, uh, under U is B. That's the upper door frame color, which is black. Next line up under A is one. That means 26 inch radiator, which is standard on a 426 Hemi car. And then uh, on the next line up under U is one, which means sold car. As you'll notice, there's no other codes on this, like, because this car is a strippy with no options. Like, for example, under the capital R, if you had a one underneath there, that would be AM radio. This car doesn't even have an AM radio. This car is a strippy. Uh, the punches in the upper right-hand corner are inspection marks from the St. Louis plant, and as well as the one in the middle that kind of looks like a figure eight. Those are inspection marks incorrect on a St. Louis plant fender tag in 1968. So yeah, 68 and before cars have a very unique fender tag layout. And on the VIN on a 68, it's on the dash, because they, I think that was federally mandated, but they had to be able to see the VIN when the car was just sitting. So uh, the VIN is R for uh, Plymouth B-Body, M is Roadrunner, 21 is the two-door post. See right there, the post. J is the engine VIN, which is 426 Hemi. 8 is year, 1968. G is St. Louis, plant. And 211764 is the sequence number. And then all 68 to 70 B bodies have the uh, stamps in the same spot on the core support and on the trunk lip. And we'll show you those. So the body stampings on the trunk lip is right back here. And keep in mind, this did vary a little bit. So by plant, you know, they, they made B-bodies at several different plants. LA, St. Louis, Hamtramck, um, multiple different plants in Lynch Road. And it would change a little bit. But it's, and keep in mind, these were stamped by people too. This wasn't by a machine. So, um, but it's usually right about in the middle here. And then on this car, uh, on a 68, so the first letter is G, which is the plant. Second letter is 8, which is the year, 1968. R is the line, so that's Plymouth B body in 1968. And the last six are the vehicle order number, which is 079691, which matches the code on the fender tag. You'll also have that code on a broadcast sheet. I have a lot of people ask, oh, how can I, how can I tell if it's 
you know, the body numbers are right. If I don't have a fender tech or a broadcast sheet, I just have the VIN. And the answer is you don't. There's no way to do that, unfortunately. Chrysler does not have paperwork on 1968 cars. They do from 1967 and before. You can go to Chrysler Historical and get your IBM punch card from them, and that will give you that information. But on 68, if you don't have a fender tag or a broadcast sheet or some other dealer paperwork, there's not much you can do about it. And then the other core, the other number is on the core support. And again, this can vary a little bit too, by year, by plant, um, but it's generally either on top here or on the back right here. You can see right here, it's stamped upside down, but it's the same. So it's G for plant, St. Louis, eight, year are Plymouth B body and the 079691 number which is the vehicle order number again these can move a little bit and you always want to look you know if you're inspecting a car you always want to look for evidence to see if the core support's been changed and you can see on this car look at all the spot welds and everything you can tell that this has absolutely never been touched before and again it's real common on a race car and this was definitely a race car for a lot of its life that they would just take the core support out for make to make it easier to do engine changes but you can see on this one it is super original and all that stuff looks really really right and they also have like they have stampings like right there um, dave wise has actually figured out what these mean um but you can tell by the numbers there that it's an absolutely original piece that's never been touched before. So original core support number. All right, well, that's where the body numbers are on a 1968 B body. And it's the same for Charger, same for Roadrunner, same for Belvedere, same for Coronet RT. All 68 B bodies have the body numbers in the same spot with the same nomenclature with the uh, with, with unique stamping with a vehicle order number on there. I just want to add a little bit more commentary to this too. I, there's a lot of people out there who don't believe that this information should be shared on the internet and because they're just worried about people making fakes and I understand that I really do but on the other hand like I believe knowledge is power and if people can't figure out how to ID this stuff for themselves then they're stuck having to hire experts like you know Galen or Dave Wise or even me and you know I mean there is a time and a place for that absolutely um, and I definitely suggest you get a car checked out because there's lots of fraud out there and there's lots of ways to show that it's different or it's been modified. But I really believe that this information should be shared with people out there so people know how to be able to ID a car and at least be able to do a cursory look at it to see if it's a fake car or not to see if the body numbers match. And a lot of people will say, oh, I don't care. I don't care if it's original or not. I'll never sell it. Well, eventually you're gonna have an estate sale no matter how old or young you are. And the car will be sold at some point. And if the body numbers have been changed, it absolutely makes a difference. You know, this is a real 1968 426 Hemi Roadrunner with the original, you know, body numbers matching, all that stuff. Like this car is worth a certain amount as a Hemi car. If it started out as a Slant 6 Belvedere, it's absolutely worth less money. And if those body numbers have been modified, then it affects the value of the car. It's very similar to that coronet that we showed you from barrett jackson a couple weeks ago where the vin tag was cut off at the barrett jackson auction by the arizona state police because it was inspected by the barrett jackson expert dave wise they found that it was not a real car the body numbers did not match so the arizona state police came in and took the vin off that car and this is why it's important to be able to look this stuff up i mean if you're going to keep the car great but it does make a difference so all right off my soapbox this is Tom from Rocket Restorations. Thanks to everybody for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to have one on the body numbers on a 1969 Dodge Daytona, which will again cover all 1969 B-bodies in an episode shortly. Thanks for watching.